<coughs> Jeremiah chapter 36. <coughs> And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take thee a roll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken against unto thee against Israel, and against Judah, <coughs> and against all the nations, from the day I spake unto thee, from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I propose to do unto them, that they may return every man from his evil way, and I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Baruch, uh, Baruch, sorry, the, the Baruch, the son of Neriah. <clears throat> and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord, <clears throat> which he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am shut up, I cannot go into the house of the Lord. Therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord and the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. And also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out of their cities. It may be they will present their supplication before the Lord and will return every one from his evil way. For great is the anger and the fury of the Lord hath pronounced against this people. And Barak the son of Neri, <clears throat> Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. And it came to pass in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem and to all the people that came from the cities of Judah into Jeru unto Jerusalem. <clears throat> Then read Baruch in the book of the words of Jeremiah, in the house of the Lord, in the chamber of Jeremiah, the son of Shepham, the scribe, in the higher court, at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house, in the ears of all the people. Then Machaniah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Shepham, had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord. <coughs> Then he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and lo, all the princes sat there, even Elshama the scribe, and Deliah, Deliah the son of Shemaiah, and Elnathan the son of Akbar, and Jeremiah the son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah the son of Hananiah, and all the princes, and um, Micaniah declared unto all the words that he had heard. Then Barak read the book in the ears of the people. <coughs> Therefore all the princes sent Jehudi, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Cushi, unto Barak, saying, Take in thine hand the roll, wherein thou hast read in the ears of the people, and come. So Barak, the son of Neriah, took the roll in his hand, and came unto them. And they said unto him, Sit down now, and read it in our ears. So Barak read it in their ears. Now it came to pass, when they had heard all the words, they were afraid, both one and, ev and other, and said unto Barak, We will surely tell the king of all these words. And they asked Barak, saying, Tell us how thou didst write all these words at, thy, at his mouth. Then Barak answered them, and pronounced all these words unto me, he pronounced all these words unto me with his mouth. And I wrote them with ink in the book. <coughs> then said the princes unto Barak, Go, hide thee thou and Jeremiah, and let no man know where he be. And they, went in the, and they went into the king into the court, but they laid up the roll <clears throat> in the chamber of Elshama the scribe, and told all the words in the ears of the king. So the king sent Jehudi to fetch the roll, and he took it out of Elshama the scribe's chamber, and Jehudi read it in the ears of all the <clears throat> in the ears of the king. <clears throat> And in the ears of all the princes which stood beside the king, now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth, until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Yet they were not afraid, nor rent their garments, neither the king nor any of the servants that heard these words. Nevertheless, El Nathan and Deliah and Jeremiah had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the roll, but he would not hear them. <coughs> but the king commanded Jer Jeremel, the son of Hamalek, and Sarariah, the son of Ezreel, and Shelemiah, the son of Abdel, to take Barak the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet. <coughs> but the Lord hid them. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. After, the, after that, the king had burned the roll and the, son, and the words which Barak wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, <coughs> Take thee again another roll, and write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim the king of Judah hath burned. <coughs> and thou shalt say to Jehoiakim king of Judah, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast burned this roll, saying, What hast thou written therein, saying, The king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this, this land, and shall cause to cease from hence man and beast. <coughs> Therefore thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim king of Judah, He shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day of 
in the day to the heat and in the night to the forest. And I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their iniquity. And I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem and upon the men of Judah all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they hearken not. Then took Jeremiah another roll and gave it to Barak the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned in the fire. And there were added besides unto them many like words. <coughs> Jeremiah chapter 37 <coughs> And the king Zedekiah and the son of Josiah reigned instead of Coniah the son of Jehoiakim whom Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon made king in the land of Judah <coughs> but neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of the Lord which he spake by the prophet Jeremiah and Zedekiah the king sent Je Jehuchal the son of Shelemiah and Zephaniah the son of Masaiah to the priest to the prophet Jeremiah <laughs> saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went... <coughs> now now Jeremiah, Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. <coughs> then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah, That sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, Pharaoh's army, which has come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt from their own land, and the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against the city, and take it, and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. <coughs> For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that should fight against you, and there remain but wounded men among them, yet they should rise up every man in his tent and burn the city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broken up from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army, <coughs> then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to separate himself hence in the midst of the people. <coughs> and when he was at the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the ward was there, whose name was Uriah, Uriah, Erijah, the son of Shelema, the son of Hananiah. And he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou fallest away to the Chaldeans. Then said Jeremiah, It is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans. But he hearkened not to him. So Erijah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Wherefore the princes were wroth with Jeremiah, and smote him, and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they made that the prison. <clears throat> then Jeremiah was entered into the dungeon, and into the cabins, and Jeremiah had remained there many days. Then Zedekiah the king sent, and took him out, and the king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is, for, said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, What have I offended against thee, or against thy servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray thee, O Lord, O my Lord the king, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, that <clears throat> and that they should give him daily a piece of bread out of the Baker Street until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 38. <clears throat> oh boy. <sighs> then Shephatiah to Aya, the son of Meten. <clears throat> <coughs> and Gedadilah, the son of Pashur, and Jakul, the son of Shilmiah, and Pashur, the son of Milkiah, heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken unto all the people, saying, <coughs> Thus saith the Lord, He that remaineth in this city shall tie by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. But he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus saith the Lord, The city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of the Babylon's army, who shall take it. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakened the hands of the men of war that remaineth in this that remain in the city, and the hands of all the people that, in speaking such words unto them, for this man seeketh not the welfare of the pe of this people, <coughs> but the hurt. Then Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not that he can can do anything against you. Then they took Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Mil of Malchiah, the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down Jeremiah with cords. And in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Jeremiah sank in the mire. <coughs> now again, now then, Ademelech the Ethiopian, one of the eunuchs which was in the king's house, heard that they had put Jeremiah in the dungeon. The king then sitting in the gate of Benjamin, 
Ademelech went forth out of the king's house and spake to the king, saying, My lord the king, these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast in the dungeon, and he is and he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no more bread in the city. Then the king commanded Ademelech the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Ademelech took the men with him and went into the house of the king under the treasury, and took hence old cast clouds and old rotten rags, and let them down by cords under the dungeon of Jeremiah. And Ademelech the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cast clouds and rotten rags under thine armholes. Until the uh, under the cords of Jeremiah did so. So they drew up Jeremiah with cords and, and put him and took him out of the dungeon, and Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord, and the king said unto Jeremiah, I ask thee a thing, hide nothing from me. <laughs> Then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare it unto thee, wilt thou not surely put me to death? If I give thee counsel, wilt thou not hearken unto me? So Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord liveth that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death, neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. Then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, if thou wilt surely go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes, <coughs> Then thou shalt live, and the city shall not be burned with fire, and thou shalt live in thine house. But if thou not, wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes, <coughs> then shall the city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they will burn it with fire. And thou shalt not escape out of their hand. And Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldeans, lest they deliver me into their hand, and they mock me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver thee, obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord which I speak unto thee, so it shall be well unto thee, and thy soul shall live. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that the Lord has showed me. <coughs> and, beh and behold, all the women that are left in the king, left in the king of Judah's house, shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes. And those women shall say, Thy friends have, are, have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy, seat are, thy feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So shall they bring out all thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans. And thou shalt not escape out of their hands, and shalt be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon. And thou shalt cause the city to be burned with fire. Then said Zedekiah unto Jeremiah, Let no man know of these words, and thou shalt not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with thee, they will come unto thee, and say unto thee, Declare unto us now what thou hast said unto the king, Hide it not from us, and we will not put thee to death. Also what the king what also what the king said unto thee. Then thou shalt say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king, that he would not cause me to return to Jonathan's house to die there. Then came all the princes unto Jeremiah and asked him, and he told them according to all the words that the king had commanded. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not perceived. So Jeremiah abode in the court of the prison until the day that Jerusalem was taken. And he was there when Jerusalem was taken. Jeremiah chapter 39. <laughs> in the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, again Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army came against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the twelfth, and in the in the twelfth year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the city was broken up. And all the princes of the king of Babylon came in <coughs> and sat in the middle gate, even <laughs> Nergal Shalazar, Sam Gard Nebdo, Sar Shashem, Rab Saris, Near Gal Shalzarizar, Reb Mag, and all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. <coughs> and it came to pass that when Zedekiah the king of Judah saw them, and all the men of war, then they fled and went forth out of the gate of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls. And he went out the way of the plain. But the Chaldeans' army pursued after them, and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. When they, and when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Moreover, he put out Zedekiah's eyes and burned and bound him with chains to carry him to Babylon. And the Chaldeans burned the king's house and the houses of the people with fire and break down the walls of Jerusalem. Then uh, Neb Nebzubadan, Neb Uz. Nebuzaradan, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive <coughs> into Babylon the remnant of the people that remained in the city, and those that fell away that fell to him with the rest of the people that remained. But 
Nebuzara, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people, which had nothing in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. <coughs> now Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, gave charge concerning Jeremiah to Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee. So Nebuzaradan, the, the captain of the guard, sent, and Nebush Hasbad, Rabsaris, and Nergal Shalazar, Mabrag, and all the kings of, and all the king of Babylon, Babylon's princes. Even they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the prison and come, and committed him unto Geldiah, the son of Il, the son of Hikam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he dwelt among the people. <laughs> Now the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Ademelech the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in the day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given unto the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid, for I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt surely not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast has put thy trust in the Lord, in trust in me, saith the Lord. <clears throat> the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, after that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had let him go from Ramah, when he had taken when he had taken him, being bound in chains among all that were carried away captive of Judah and Jerusalem which were carried away captive unto Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said unto him, The Lord thy God hath pronounced this evil upon this place. Now the Lord hath brought it, and done according to all he hath said, because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed his voice. Therefore this thing is come upon you. And now, behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which were upon thine hand. If it seem good unto thee to come with me unto Babylon, come, and I will look well unto thee. But if it seem ill unto thee to come with us unto Babylon, forbear. Behold, all this land is before thee. Whither it seemeth good and convenient for thee to go, hither go. Now because he was not yet come back, he said, Go back also to Gildiah, the son of Hakam. Hakam? 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 <coughs> Achim, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah, <coughs> and dwell with him among the people, or go whoersoever it seemeth consistent, convenient unto thee to go. So the captain of the guard gave him vitriols, and a reward, and let him go. <coughs> then went Jeremiah unto Geldiah, the son of Hakam, to Mizpah, and dwelt there among the people that were left in the land. Now when all the captains of the forces which were in the fields, even they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gildai the son of Hakem, governor in the land, and committed unto him men and women and children, and of the poor of the land, of them that were not carried away captive to Babylon, then came to the Gildai to Mizpah even Ishmael, the son of uh, Nehaniah, and Johanan, and Jonathan, the sons of Kerah, and Sariah, the son of uh, Tanhumeth, <laughs> and the sons of Ahai, the Na Nethophanite and Jezaniah the son of the son of Machach, Machathite, they and their men. <clears throat> and Gildiah the son of Hakem, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not the Chaldeans, dwell in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell in Mizpah to serve the Chaldeans, which come unto us, but ye gather ye wine and the summer fruits and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. <laughs> Likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab and among the Amorites and in Edom, and were in all the countries, heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah, and that he had set over them Gildiah the son of Hakim, the son of Shaphin, even all the Jews returned out of their places, whither they were driven, and came to the land of Judah, to Gildiah and to, unto Mizpah, and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Johanan the son of Kiriah, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields, came to Gildiah to Mizpah, and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that Balis, the king of the Amorites, Amorites hath sent Ishmael the son of Neth Nehaniah to slay thee, but Gildiah the son of Hakim believed them not. Then Johanan the son of Kirai spoke to Gildiah in Mizpah, secretly saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael the son of Nehaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, and all the Jews that are gathered unto thee should be scattered, and the remnant of Judah perish? But Gildiah the son of Hakim said unto Johanan the son of Kiriah, Thou shalt not do this thing, for thou speak falsely of Ishmael. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 41. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, the son of El Shammah, of the seed royal, and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came unto Gildiah, the son of Hakim, to Mizpah, and there did eat bread together in Mizpah. <coughs> then arose Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, and ten men that were with him, and smote Gildiah, the son of Hakim, the son of Shaphim, <coughs> with the sword, and slew him. <coughs> whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. <laughs> Ishmael also slew all the Jews that, Jews that were with him, even all with Gildiah at Mizpah, and the Chaldeans that were found there, <laughs> and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he'd slain Gildiah, and no man knew it. There even came certain from Shisham, from Shiloh, and from Samaria. <laughs> <clears throat> Even fourscore men having their beards shaven, and their clothes rent, and, their, and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring them to the Lord, to the house of the Lord. <laughs> then Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, went forth from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass as he met them, he said unto them, <coughs> Come to Hildiah, the son of Ilkam. And it was so. <laughs> and they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, slew them, and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them that said to Ishmael, Slay not us, for we have treasures in the field of wheat, and of barley, and of oil, and of honey. So he purveyed and slew them not among the brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men, and whom he had slayed before all the could die, was it which Asa the king <clears throat> had made for fear of Basha, king of Israel. And Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, filled it. Uh, with them that were slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters, and all the people that remained in Mizpah, whom, Nebuchad whom Nebuzadan, the captain of the guard, had committed to Gildiah, the son of Achim. And Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, carried, away, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Amor Ammonites. <coughs> And when Johanan, the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, had done, then they took all the men and went forth to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nehaniah, and found him by the great waters which are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass, when all the people that were with Ishmael saw Johanan, the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, when then they were glad. And so all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah, cast about and returned, and went unto Johanan, the son of Kariah. But Ishmael the son of Nehaniah escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Amorites. Then took Johanan the son of Kariah and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he recovered from Ishmael the son of Nehaniah from Mizpah. After that he had slain Gildiah the son of Hakim, even mighty men of war, and women and the children, and the eunuchs whom he had brought forth again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Shaham, which is by Bethlehem, to go to enter into Egypt. Because of the Chaldeans they were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nehaniah had slain Giltiah, the son of Hikam, whom the king of Babylon had made governor in the land. <coughs> Jeremiah chapter 42. Then all the captains of the forces, and Johanan, the son of Kiriah, and Jezaniah, the son of Hoshahiah, and all the people from the least, even unto the greatest, came near, and said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let, we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted for thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord our God according to your words. <coughs> And it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be true and faithful witness <coughs> between us, if we do not even according to all the things for the which the Lord thy God shall send us, shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we sent thee. And it may be well with us that we will obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called he Johanan the son of Kerah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least even to the greatest, and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, the Lord God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before them. If ye will abide in this land, then I will build you up, and will not pluck you down. 
and I will plant you and not pluck you up, for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your land. But if ye say we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord our God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. <coughs> Then therefore hear the word of the Lord, you remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there, <coughs> then it shall come to pass the sword which ye feared shall overtake, ye, overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there you shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as mine anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall have an extraction, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord hath said concerning you, O remnant of Judah, Go ye not into Egypt, know certainly that I have admonished you this day, for ye have dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us, unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say, So declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared to you that ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor anything of which he hath sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither, whither ye desire to go, and to sojourn. Till next time.